Colorado's love of nature and the outdoors is well known, but our recycling rate, well, frankly, it stinks. Uh, the 5.9 million tons of trash that we all tossed in 2022, just under 16% was recycled or composted. That's about half of the national average of 32%. And now a big part of the problem, there's not always a clear, easy way to recycle all of this here in our state. Recycling plastic can be much more difficult than other materials, especially the kind that needs to be cleaned before it can be processed. But now a company in our state is helping out across the country to utilize their new process to help our hard to recycle plastics have yet another life. Your report in the mountain, Spencer Wilson, explains why the Dillon Marina hired them to help unravel their plastic problem. For years, the Dillon and Frisco Marina have been giving this plastic wrap back to its provider after they're finished with it, but they stopped taking it back because it stopped being profitable. Now they're looking for somebody else to take it on because it's hard to recycle, and they might have just found the answer. The plastic film covers boats at the marina in the off season. But when it's time to sail again, it just becomes trash. The rough math is we produce about 480,000 square feet of plastic annually. And it, that didn't feel good to anyone that that could possibly go in the landfill. So they jumped at the chance to huck their giant plastic collection over to Driven Plastic, who, to put it simply, we make an additive for asphalt and we make it out of waste plastic. Driven Plastic says they're the next generation uh, in asphalt like creation. Waste. Reactive elastomeric terpalmer. Old asphalt this. roads already have plastic in them, is, but uh, it's just added in to gum up the mixture and can leak into our environment when the road breaks down. Driven Plastic says this new system is not only giving roads more life, it has better performance, and it's better for the environment too. Recycled plastic like this combines into something else entirely. So you're not going to see plastic floating around in here because it's actually incorporated into the glue at a molecular level. It's using polyethylene 2 in 4, as I'm sure you know, like I totally did, is one of the hardest to recycle plastics unless you're driven plastics, and then you make your business off of this. They already have 22 roads across the country that use their mixture, and will have 60 by the end of the year, maybe using some of the plastic film from right here at the Dillon Marina, which is now also saving money. A lot of recycling centers, it has to be pristine clean, or they won't take it. A lot of them uh, charge a lot of money for that service. The Dillon Marina says they're planning on sticking with this company for the foreseeable years that they can, and that they're very proud to be part of this exchange. In Dillon, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer, fascinating. Thank you for bringing that to us. Spencer covers stories and communities all across our high country. So make sure you send him your story ideas through cbscolorado.com. And you can always call that tip line 303-863-TIPS.